Hey, Master Wigglebit5 here with his little babysit dog. Back at you again with another episode of Boner Rim. Let's get started. We are going to do stuff. Mainly, we're going to do this. Serena, please don't ruin this for me. Hello there. You must be the mod offer voice acting this character. Custom voice acting, not bad. Oh, it's you. I'm so glad you're here. And would. I don't know how much time we have left. I keep... My brother went down this shaft a few days ago, and I'm worried. I need you to go in after him and bring him back to me alive. It could be dangerous, but if anyone can do it, it's you. Now, are you ready? Yeah, pretty much. I have food. Oh. I knew I could count on you. Now, quickly, go. If you are reading this, you stand at the entrance to an ancient dwarven city. No doubt you have never heard of it, for in all my travels and all my study, I have never read of it in any text, save for the inscription here. It reads, those who seek refuge will find peace here, basking in the sun under the ground. Those who seek gold will find riches beyond imagining, but will pay for this folly with their lives, for there is no return to the world of man. Is it possible there is life down there? Is it possible the dwarves are still alive after all this time? As I stand here on this precipice, war raging all over Tamriel, my mind is made up. Today, I take a leap of faith. Beloved reader, Perhaps one day you will join me. Consider this an invitation or a warning. Huh. Alright, leap of faith. What am I looking at? Alright. Nice placement. All right. Never actually did this quest. Heard it's good. Huh, pretty good. Oh no, did he hang himself? Try and flip this body or something. Old man, nothing. To What's wrong, girl? This. I am so sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you will share my fate. I have spent a lifetime in this place. Going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. But there are only two choices. Death, or the door to the house on the lake. I made the mistake of opening that door. I thought I could help them if I found the right one, but whatever I did, it took me right back to that lake house. In the end, all I learned is that some things are worse than death. I urge you to learn from my mistakes. Best to take your own life now, and find out what awaits you beyond that door. I've locked it and hidden the key. I'll guard it with my eternal soul if I have to. But I fear even that will not be enough. For the lake house calls to you. And when it does, you must not listen. Aldrius. Huh. Okay, uh, hold on a minute. Can we get me off? Alright, I gotta deal with this dog. Hold on. The one's upstairs? Okay. Hello. Oh. 
All right, that was easy. She wants it upstairs. I hope that wasn't too much of a distraction. All right, all right, Audrey. I'm gonna take this because your voice acting is godlike. The lake house. Hmm, I must have had farms. A lake house, alright, this will be easy. Take any mushrooms, this is how they, how they farmed. What are my quests? I should probably have that highlighted. Explore the Forgotten City. Uh, I'm gonna have everything highlighted for the time. I'm gonna have that just highlighted for the time being. Sunken house. Catch my breath. Thank you, Scrubby. Alright, I'll be right back. Good morning, Wigglebits. Alright, I'm back. I just had to exit out of that tab. Let's visit the Sun Keys house. Sunken, oh. Oh, I'm still underwater, crap. Nothing. Don't see anything. Crap, I'm drowning. Oh crap, crap. Shit, I drowned. Alright, that was uh that was a bit inconvenient. Alright, well let's go to uh, the highlighted area. Skeever. Uh, I'm worried that might have disabled my... Hold on. Go back. Alright, let us just have that highlight. Alright. There's something all the way up there. All right, well, let's move to the... It's so abandoned and eerie. There's something up there. Yeah, I gotta go up there. Alright, we're going up, I guess. I was in your shoes once. A lifetime ago. I remember the way the lake house calls to you.
Got him. Dormer are deactivated. We need to go up. Need to go up. There's no one down here except for some skeever. Please understand. I locked the lake house door to stop you from making the sand stink. I will ignore my words and come searching for the key. All right, this ghost is relentless. Uh, pop some of that, pop this. My companions probably didn't come with me. I'm making the mistake or you're making the mistake. Tell me about that boy. I gotta, uh, yeah, I gotta switch those out. I am hungry. I am hungry. I hope I have enough food. Lake House Key. <gasps> now, right, we have the Lake House Key. Uh, Quiet. It's really quiet. Seven years ago, I discovered this wondrous city, uninhabited. Others soon followed, heeding my invitation, and our community grew and prospered under my rule. But as I write this, I am alone once again, for my subjects have been the victims of an unspeakable atrocity. 
This is why, at the expense of my own life, I must open a portal that will take you into the past, before all this began. Beloved reader, you must go back, investigate what set this atrocity in motion, and prevent it by any means necessary. <laughs> what? Uh, all right. Well, it looks like he. All right, he left me some stuff. Oh. What? You there? Where did you come from? I just arrived. I just law. I'm. I got lost. A what? Oh, I see. You're a little bit crazy. Well, you're in good company here. I Lots of us were thinking straight when we arrived. It's the first day of last seed, I believe. What the hell? Okay, so that's interesting. I guess you hit your head pretty hard coming down the shaft, huh? It's the 194th year of the Fourth Era, of course. Look, you seem a little new. So I'll make this nice and simple for you. Live by our laws, and we will all get along just fine. Don't hurt anyone, don't steal anything. Same as anywhere else. Only the punishment here is much, much worse. The Yarl can tell you more, and help you get settled in. Might even have some orders for you. I can take you to him if you like. All right. Follow me. So this is our farmland where we grow all the food you'll ever want, as long as all you ever want is leek, cabbage, and potato. If you have goods, the merchants at the market up ahead will be happy to see you. Most of us have few belongings, just what we brought in with us. Morning, Govar. Morning, Isma. Above us is the sun under the ground. It's strange and no substitute for the real sun, of course, but these days it doesn't bother me. What bothers me is the citadel's book. Dag Jormund, for example, standing up there on his balcony looking down on us. Just look at him. Yeah, Jormund, you're a really big man, aren't you? <laughs> Milk. Aren't you going to introduce me to your strapping new friend, Gilmar? We're on our way to see the yard. It'll be time for you to get your claws into a friend here later. <laughs> I look forward to it. You should come for a drink at my tavern in Gold Sentinel tonight. Just about everything's Be careful with Rastasia. She... Well... It's not my place to say. There's enough gossip in this place as it is. It's a small city after all. Only 24 of us at the moment. 23 don't come around us. Who's halfway to the next life? Luke is barely managing to keep him alive. Manage to worm your way in with them, you might get to live here too. Gulva, what do you think you're doing? You're meant to be working the Owl's farm, not trudging dirt into his citadel. Sure, man, take it easy, would you? 
was just showing our new friend here to the yard. Well, how about you get back to work, and I take our new friend the rest of the way? If you don't work, none of us eat, Gulver. Remember that. How could I forget? Fine, I'll get back to work. It was nice meeting you, my friend. Nice meeting you too. He's yeah, he was lovely. God, I love the voice Sorry acting. About that. that probably sounded a bit harsh, but it's my job to make sure we all have enough to eat. I'm yawning. Let's head up to the next floor then, shall we? Stay close behind me. Wouldn't want you getting lost now, would we? It's good to see a new face here. Haven't had any new rivals in a while. Except for Marius. But he mostly keeps to himself. A bit secretive, actually. Most people are pretty friendly though, and so they should be. This is the closest you'll get to Southern Guard in all of Tamriel. No crime, no conflict. Most folk don't even bother locking the doors. <laughs> even if you could steal someone without breaking the dwarves' law, it's not as if you could sell it to anyone here. Ah, I gotta conjure something. Oh, welcome. I'm Gaia. You come and say hello when you're free. Always got her nose buried in a book, that one. Helps out Brawl down in the city. Our resident expert about the history and laws of the Dwemer. Last I heard, we were trying to track down some dwarven artifacts. Should ask Brawl about it, if you're into that sort of thing. This is the Citadel kitchen. Remember to be polite to our cooker Sanchi. I'm gonna keep that in mind, thanks, brah. You really should go and see the Jarl before we talk. Oh, okay. To meet Yarl Metellus. There's a couple of things you should know about him if you want to make a good impression. First, he was the first one here. Well, he was here before the rest of us anyway. So the Citadel is his, and where are all his guests? Second, he's very protective of this place and won't tolerate anyone disturbing the peace. Okay. Be on your best behavior, and you should be fine. Mm, graphics are acting up a bit. <clears throat> this is the top of the Citadel. The bathhouse is off limits, and I'm not even sure what's behind the gold door. Oh, the Yarl has ever gone in there. Mm. Alright, you're on your own from here. I've got lazy farmers to supervise. Good luck with the Yarl, and I'll see you around. Okay. Alright, tune in next time for when we talk to the Yarl and try and figure out what made this place go abandoned. I love every single one of you. Peace.